Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at some of the calculators that I use in my videos. These calculators are used to calculate the basic stats and attributes for generals to give us the percentage attack, defense, hit points that we're going to use to determine how good they are as in a general. Now first I want to say thank you to Derek DeFiles for his help with this. A lot of the formulas that are used in this video come from his videos and I've also reached out to him with some specific issues that uh, he helped me figure out. So I appreciate that. If you haven't checked them out on YouTube, I highly recommend his channel. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now this first calculator is the cultivation calculator or also known as the base attributes calculator. Now we're going to be using four numbers for this calculator and it's very important that we get these right or else the formulas aren't going to work. The first one is the base growth rate, second is the base stat, third is the level of your general, and the fourth is the cultivation. Now let's look in game and see what those look like. So where we're going to go to find those stats is in the tavern. Most of those stats anyways. If we look at our general, this is going to be a zero star level one copy of this general. And these are the numbers we're going to use for the base attributes, that's this number in yellow, and then the growth rate, that's the number in green. Now, the growth rate is the amount of this stat that you are going to gain per level on that general. This number right here is going to dictate what the percentage buff for that specific stat is going to be. Leadership will affect your health, attack will affect your attack, and defense will affect your defense stat. This calculator does not work for the politics stat because the politics buffs the uh, troop death to wounded rate and the ratios are a little bit different and we're not really worried about that. Now, the other numbers we're going to need is of course the general level, but I'm pretty sure everyone can figure out how to get the general level. The important ones are the cultivation. That's going to be this number right here. Other numbers to consider is going to be your dragon buffs. So if you have a dragon that gives you extra stats, these numbers right here are also going to go into the cultivation box. Also, and this is important, each red star is going to give you 10 of a cert of all stats per level. So if we look at Electra here, we can see that by ascending her to the first bar right here, we're going to get an extra 10 into leadership. And then the second one is going to give us 10 into, I believe it's attack. The third is, I think it's defense. And the fourth one is uh, politics. So for each of these bars is going to give us 10 for each respective stat. So for each full red star you have, that's 10 for each stat. And those are also going to go into the cultivation calculator as well. Now that we know what these numbers are, and which box they put them in. Let's look at the, take a little bit closer look at the calculation. These numbers right here, these two rows, these aren't really important. That's just what the math that the, the calculator uses to come up with the numbers. This is going to be the buff percent that you get for each star level, for one star through five star, but we're really only concerned with five stars. Now this says attack percent, but it also works for defense and HP, as I said. It doesn't work for the death to survival rate stat. But this right here is going to be our total out of the box attack stat. So these numbers are plugged in for my Electra. We got an 8.787 growth rate, 110 base stat. She's level 32 with an extra 613, 613 cultivation stat. And if we look in game, we can see Electra here with a base of 110 and 8.87. My Electra has an extra 493 attack, which is an extra 100 from the dragon, so that's 593. And then she's two stars, so that's two red stars, so that's going to give her an extra 20 bringing her total cultivation up to 613. And if we look at the calculator, we would expect to see about 191% attack buff. 
if we look at uh, Electra, we can see she gets 191% attack buff. And you can put these numbers in for whatever John you want. You can put in whatever imaginary numbers you want. The math is going to work out the same. This next calculator calculates the attack and march size in our action, and that's going to give us the effective attack number. Now, effective attack is important because that's the amount of damage that you're going to deal per round of combat. Now, the way we get this number is we're going to use our rally spot base, the base attack for that troop type, whatever the buff percentage currently is for that troop type, and then the percent that we're adding and put it as a decimal. This number right here is the total attack with the added percent right here. This one is the total of these numbers without the added percent. And then this number right here is the most important. This is the increased attack, and this is the one that I use in my videos. So saying that we have the same march right here, we change these numbers for whatever general we're putting on that march, and this is telling us how much that general is going to increase the damage of that attack. Now, let's go ahead and look in game and get some important numbers. The first important number is going to be your rally spot base buff. You're just going to go to your rally spot, click more information, and it's going to tell you the march size for whatever level rally spot you're looking at. Right now I have it set to 350,000 of the calculator, which is a level 35 rally spot. But let's say you want to run this number for your specific rally spot. I have a 250% rally spot, and we can see that my march size is 250% plus 630, 500. So let's put that into the calculator. Two hundred and fifty and six hundred and thirty thousand five hundred. Now, the next number we're going to need is the base attack for the troop. Now, you can't get the base stat in game, so instead, what we're going to do is we're going to use this website right here. And I'll link this one in the description so you can use it. Evneguide.wiki has a lot of useful information. Uh, the one we're worried about here is the uh, the attack number. So let's locate the troop type we want. Let's say mounted troop and the tier of the troop. I'm building tier 12s, so 5187. So we're, this is the base number that we're going to put into the calculator. 5187. And then the buff number. We're going to have to do a little bit of math to get this one but that's okay. If we click on them, we see it's 14,760. So let's pull out the calculator on our phone. We're going to put in 14,760. This is the total attack for this troop that I have. To find the added percent, we have to subtract the base attack from the total attack. So subtracting 5187 from that gives us 9573. And we can see that down here that adds up to 14,760. Now let's say you don't want to use yours. You just want to use say like I want a 2000% buff and see put that as the base. So we're going to reset this number to zero. This is the added percent. For that we're going to put in as a decimal the percent of uh, 2000 percent. So there's 2000. You're going to move the decimal place two to the left. So the number 20. That number right there is going to be 108,927 you're going to do the same as before. You're going to subtract this number from this number and put it in this box here. But we're not going to do that right now. So let's put back the number that I had. So here's the stats for my base numbers. Now, let's say that I'm going to put Roland on my march, and I want to see what my Roland is going to give me. First, we have to figure out the attack percentage. 
the way you're going to do that is you're going to add up all the attack percent buffs that you're going to get for this general. Uh, that's going to include gear, any buffs you get from spirit beasts you're mounted, your specialties, your skill, your skill books, pretty much anything that's going to contribute to that final number. Now, I'm not going to go through and do all that math for my individual rolling. If you want to do that for your general, you can do that. Instead, we're going to open up another one of my documents real quick, and we are going to look at the mounted stats. And let's look for general and Roland. You can see Roland has a 277% attack and 16% march size. So let's put that into the calculator. 2.77 and 0.16. So if I put Roland, the full ascension, I believe that was calculated for a level 30, 500 cultivation. We can see that I'm going to get about an extra 13.8 billion damage. Now let's see how Roland is going to perform. I mean, Hannibal will perform with the same march. 295 and 0. We're going to put 2.95 and 0. And we see that in this situation, Hannibal is going to give me about an extra 13.4 billion. Now, these numbers are going to change based on your rally spot and your buffs. But generally speaking, the higher your rally spot and the higher your buffs are for your attack, the higher this damage is going to be for the march size. So essentially, the higher level you are, the more important your march size buff is going to be, the more effective damage you're going to get out of it. For lower levels, the attack percent is going to be more important, but once you get up to mid-level, higher levels, your rally spot is going to be the more important one to buff. But there's not a hard and fast rule about what percentage is equal to what. It really depends on the specific situation, and that's what this calculator is for. All right, this next calculator is the hit point and defense calculator. What this calculator does is it's going to calculate the rounds to kill of the attacker attacking the defender with certain buffs that we can put in and interact with that. Quick disclaimer, this calculator is not perfect. Uh, these numbers right here, this is the modifier, troop modifier, and these numbers come from Derek Defies on YouTube. Uh, the video that he made publishing these came out a little over a year ago. So when I made this calculator, I reached out to him to make sure that these numbers still work and are accurate. And what he told me was that they are accurate for the most part, but they're not perfect. They are slightly off, but they should be able to give us a general idea of how these numbers play together. Now, the way this calculation works is it's only based on one troop on one troop. So it's not calculating for like a hundred thousand versus a million. This is a very simple calculator and it's just going to give us a rudimentary understanding of how is the specific general going to impact our survivability. So keep that in mind. It's not a perfect calculator, but it does give us a general idea of how they're going to perform. Let's look through these boxes. This first one is the modifier. That's these numbers right here. The next one is the attack base. So that's going to be the enemy that is attacking you, their attack number. The next two are the defense and the HP base numbers. And then here you can put a percentage buff towards the base for the attacker, and then a percentage buff for the defense and HP on the defender. These are the total numbers after adding the buffs. And this is the rounds to kill for all these numbers right here. So this round to kill, that means that these troops are going to have to attack 4.4 times to kill that one troop. Now keep in mind that with the way Ebony works, decimals 
uh, in a round, there's not a half round of combat. So it's a full round. So this would actually round up to five in all practical occasions. So like I said, it's not a perfect calculator, but with larger numbers, more rounds of combat, the extra points are going to play a slight effect, but just, just something to keep in mind right there. Okay, so modifier. Let's say we're going to look at a tier 12 mounted attacking a tier 12 mounted. We're going to find mounted v mounted with the troop modifier of 1. Put 1 into the box. Now we're going to go back to our website and grab the base stats for a tier 12 mounted troop. 5187, 3425, 2187, 3425, and 9362. Here's the base numbers. Now, let's put in some percentage and see how it works out. Let's say we want to see the rounds to kill with Lee Nemosa as the main general. You can see that he's going to give us 182% defense and 309% hit point. So let's go ahead and put that into the calculator. One eighty two put as a decimal is going to be one point eighty two. That's going to be three point zero nine. So we can see that increases the rounds to kill from like four point four up to twenty one. Now obviously the enemy is going to have some buffs. They're not going to have zero buffs. So let's just say easy math and say they have a two hundred percent attack buff. That brings it down to three point nine eight. Let's say they have a 2,000% attack buff. Less than one round to kill. Now let's increase our number by 2,000% for each of these. And that brings it up to a 3.5. So we can see how these numbers interact with each other. Let's say we change this down to one and we change this up to three. 3.3 .3. it doesn't really change a whole lot so this is very this calculator is very dependent on the troops that are attacking since the troop modifier attack plays a big role it depends a lot on the defense base since the defense decreases the attack and it's 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 a lot of nuance with it and it's highly situation dependent from the testing that I've done for the most part what I can tell is that I think that in most cases, the hit points are going to be more important than defense. Meaning that if you offer me an extra 10% hit point or an extra 10% defense, I'll take the extra 10% defense because in most cases, that's going to give me the bigger advantage. If you offer me an extra 30% defense or an extra 10% hit point, I don't know, that's a little bit more complicated question. That's what this calculator is for so we can put these in in specific scenarios and see which general is going to offer us the better buffs based on what they have. All right, that's all I have for this video. Hopefully that clearly explains how these calculator works, what their purpose is, and y'all will be able to use them for yourself. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, maybe subscribe if you feel like it, and if you do use these calculators, maybe in a video of your own, or you give them to other people, just please give me the courtesy of uh, dropping my name with it. And I hope y'all uh, have a good one.